Now you're done with your mix, your track is sounding great, but we have one more stage to go through and that is the mastering stage. Now in the mastering stage, you're almost doing the same things. You're still EQing, you're still compressing, just micro adjustments to ensure that the track is sounding the best it possibly can. We're gonna start off by taking a look at prepping our mix session so it'll be ready for the mastering stage. So I'm done mixing the song. I'm happy with how everything sounds. I'm happy with the levels of all the individual parts, the panning, the EQ, the compression. And now it's ready for mastering. Now I will have to prepare this session a little bit before I start the mastering process. The one most important thing to check for is to ensure that the master on the mixer here does not go above the 0 dB limit. So in the digital domain, 0 dB is the highest limit. Any signal going above 0 dB is considered clipped. So we want to make sure that our signal is not clipped. So we want to make sure that everything is below 0 dB. So I'm going to play certain sections of the track here that I feel are loud and I can check if the master is clipping. Now, every time we switch from playlist mode to mixer mode, it can be a bit annoying to constantly go back and forth and have to click over here. I can click over here and then enable this detached mode. This way, now the mixer is always sitting on top. And I can see the playlist in the background. If I click around, the mixer doesn't disappear. It's always sitting on top. All right, so let's play a little bit of this mix here. So that's the zero level. I've selected the master and we can see we're well below zero. In fact, I have a limiter on the master, fruity limiter. There's no compression happening, but the limiter is on. A limiter is an extreme form of a compressor. So think of it like having infinite ratio and you just have a ceiling instead of a threshold. So when the ceiling is set to zero dB, we're basically saying that if any signal goes above 0 dB, make sure that it does not by limiting it. Let me play different sections here. Right, so it did get a little loud over here. Seems to be fairly minor, but it can be addressed. I believe it was a sign pluck instrument, so I'll make it a bit quieter here. Let's hear it again. We can also detach this, so it's always sitting on top. Still a little loud. I feel also the bass and kick might be getting a bit louder that section there. Almost there, seems to be really minor. Now I could address this or I could be happy with it because the compressor here or specifically the limiter is ensuring the signal never goes above zero but it is nice to ensure that the mix by itself is never even touching zero. So our limiter does not have to do anything. And we have a lot of headroom to further process this track in the mastering stage. All right, so let's say I'm happy with that. I'm gonna close out of here. And now I'm gonna to go to file and I'm gonna export a WAV file. The WAV file is what we're gonna use for mastering. So I'm gonna to go to the desktop here and then just save this over here. I'll just call it song one, hit save. And now we have some rendering options that we can set. We leave this at wave. The wave bit depth, I'm going to set to 24 bit. That'll give us some more headroom for further processing during the mastering stage. Everything else here now I'm going to leave as is. The master effects are enabled, the insert effects are enabled. So we're ready now to create the render. Now I'm going to click start and FL Studio is now creating the audio file which we will use for the mastering stage. All right, so the render is complete. So now I can close out this project and create a new empty project. And in this project, I will load in that rendered mix file. And now I'm ready to start the mastering process for the song. 